today we're gonna test ride some Indian motorcycles. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like anyone can even know that. Hello my friends, welcome to Tom's Synchron Adventures. Today I am at El Cajon Indian Motorcycle, El Cajon, California. And, uh, they have a demo truck here today, big trailer, a whole bunch of demo bikes. And I have signed up to test ride a couple of these. We'll see how that goes. I signed up for the FTR and the Super Chief. All right, there we go. Off we go. I'll be uh, messing around with this standard mode for a little bit, but uh, we're going to go to sport pretty quick, I think. For a cruiser style bike, it feels very nimble um, at low speeds. Clutch is nice and light. Really nice clutch feel here. All right, clutch engagement is nice. Yeah, cable clutch, but it feels very nice and light. This bike doesn't feel like a cruiser at all. It feels very much like a standard bike, sport-ish bike. Six gear. I'm, um, uh, let's see, going 60 miles an hour, it feels like it's barely turning. This bike is super smooth. A little bit more wind protection would be great. I'm not really a cruiser guy, but uh, I could see having something like this. My feet are sitting directly under my butt. Uh, my knees are bent a little bit. Um, pretty upright. This thing probably has an aftermarket bar, I don't know. The bar sits up pretty good on here. Like I said, I think a little bit bigger windshield for uh, some highway riding. This could be a good short distance cruiser. Very impressed with the clutch and the transmission. Yeah, since we're riding in a group here, I can't really say how I would compare sport mode to standard mode. But she's plenty peppy. Yeah, I have a feeling this bike could probably pull a pretty nice wheelie. <laughs> I don't know how much they would like that on the demo ride. Oh yeah. It almost feels like I'm riding a big dirt bike here. Got a little bit of engine feel. The, um, the engine vibration is just noticeable. I'm feeling it in my feet. Not hardly at all in my hands, a little bit, but uh, my knees against the tank, I feel it. All right, I also just noticed we got about a 9,000 RPM uh, red line on this. So that's a pretty free revving V-twin. I don't think I've mentioned the suspension, but that's maybe because I'm barely noticing it. This thing is uh, sucking up the uh, California side street irregularities pretty well. What a beautiful day to be out here riding a brand new Indian motorcycle. I think it's in its element right here. Twisty two lane. This is where it's going to excel. Oh, I see. We've got a bag mount on the left side and we have pipes on the right side. Interesting. Okay, hey. Look at that, you start paying attention, we have 120 horsepower, 1203 cc V-twin, 87 foot-pounds of torque, and a six-speed transmission. And it has ABS, cruise control, Brembo brakes, and in maroon metallic it is $14,999. So, is this a 
bike worth $15,000? I don't know. Alright, we're rolling back in here. Finishing up the test ride. And, uh, you know, even if it's not your favorite bike in the world, you can't hardly complain when you get to ride a brand new motorcycle. I already got a double cheeseburger before this, so it's a pretty nice day. bag type thing on the left. I'm sure this is an aftermarket exhaust. A, a Kropovic. It says Pro Taper handlebars. I don't know if those are stock or not. And a little screen which is probably an accessory. Overall, really enjoyable. All right. Be right in the Super Chief Limited. We got floorboards, we got bags, windshield. Let's read this before we get going here. Powered by the Thunderstroke 116, 120 foot pounds of torque. Doesn't say anything about horsepower on this one. 714 pounds. And it's a 21,000. Yeah, this is going to be. A whole different ride experience, obviously. All right, let's see. Oh, I already put the kickstand up. I guess I didn't even do, didn't even know I did that. <laughs> yeah, just a whole different feel. Definitely lower. Big, thick clutch and brake levers. Lazy engine, comparatively. <laughs> Surprised this doesn't have a heel-toe shifter. There we go. All right, we're off. This thing idles so lumpy compared to the uh, FTR. Once again, though, the uh, clutch feel is very nice. Another cable-operated clutch. All right, here we go. Yeah, a lot more effort to make this bad boy turn. Six gear going 65, and uh, engine just feels like it's barely turning once again. But this one has a lot nicer highway manners, obviously. Windshield just about perfect. I feel some air on my chest. My head doesn't feel it hardly at all, though. So there's air getting around it. I'm feeling it. It's going through my jacket, but my head's not bobbling around. No vibration felt at all on the highway here. It's like almost perfectly smooth. This bike is no slouch by any means. It's got plenty of plenty of grunt. It's just kind of lazy on the acceleration, that's all. That might have to do with it being, you know, 700 pounds. What is that, a third of a ton? can definitely be a little more lazy on this bike. You pop it up in the gear and just let it uh, let it eat because it's not rev happy. 
but it does seem to have plenty of torque, so it pulls from low RPMs. We definitely have a wallowy suspension on this thing, but that's a given. It's a big heavy bike, it's not going to have stiff suspension like the FTR had, which is a little bit more sporty. This is more of a, a toury bike, so... That being said, when you uh, go into these corners, it just feels like a marshmallow. It's just satisfying to ride on a beautiful day on pretty much any bike. So while this may not be my favorite motorcycle in the world, I have no qualms at all about enjoying the ride on it. It's a beautiful bike. It's got plenty of power. I mean, it's a cruiser, so it handles differently. It's okay. It handles everything we're doing here just fine. Up to and well above the posted speed limit on any of the roads, it's fine. So, I could definitely see enjoying this bike if one happened to land under my Christmas tree or something. Around town, first through third is all you need. In fact, once you get it in third gear until you're stopped, it's probably great. Should we see what tour mode is about? There we go. We're in tour mode. Well, I'll tell you this, tour mode feels like there's a rubber band attached to the throttle cable. And you twist the throttle, and it just takes a second for it to catch up. It definitely uh, is not as responsive. Still feels fine. I'm sure it has plenty of power. I don't know. I enjoy motorcycles. I enjoy the power of the engine. Even on a small bike, you know, you, know, you ring it out for what it's worth. And uh, on a big bike like this, I definitely want to ring it out for what it's worth. So, I highly doubt that I would be using tour mode. Back to sport, baby. That's better. Well, I'm glad I get to experience things like this. That tour mode, sport mode. Let's me know that uh, even though I'm not the fastest guy out there or the most addicted to uh, high horsepower motorcycles that I still like some power and some responsiveness. Yeah, I mean, I don't even have a sport bike, anything like that, but uh, I want my motorcycle to go when I turn the throttle. Now yeah, look, this one only revs to 5,000. That's quite a bit different. Once again, returning back. Very few complaints. Thank you, Indian Motorcycles. Outside. Big looking cylinder head and valve covers. Okay, I apologize. My microphone failed. I recorded the ending of this, but it was a beautiful day. Got to test ride some Indian motorcycles, and you can't beat that. So, 
Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.